Barcelona's low emission zone has been declared null and void by the courts. But why? And uh, what now? The excessive size of the low emission zone, 95 square kilometers, and the excessive restriction of the type of vehicles affected are the main causes of the court to take this historical decision. Although the decision can still be appealed and the restrictions are still in force, it may mark a before and after in the design of low emission zones in Spain and maybe the whole Europe. Mobility is a fundamental right. So a law that restricts free circulation of citizens has to be very well founded and must be done proportionally in the most limited way possible. Barcelona's low emission zone restricts vehicle access according to the Spanish environmental labeling system. These labels are defined to categorize the pollution potential of a vehicle and depend on the fuel type and the age of the vehicle. The oldest vehicles are considered to be so polluting that they do not have any label at all. Thus, the current restrictions in Barcelona are that vehicles that do not have this label cannot enter the city. And while it is true that, on average, the older vehicles are more polluting than modern ones, each vehicle is very different. There are very old but well-maintained vehicles that emit less than a modern vehicle that is in poor condition or has a technical breakdown. Therefore, as the city restrictions do not consider the real emissions of vehicles, the court considers that these restrictions are abusive in the absence of technical justification. The evidence is clear. A few vehicles, about 1% of the fleet, are extremely polluting. We call these vehicles high emitters. High emitters are responsible for a large part of the total emissions from road traffic, in some cases reaching up to 40% of all traffic emissions. Identifying and regulating the circulation of these few dirty vehicles is the most efficient and fair solution. And this is where the NEMO project is of particular interest. We are developing technologies and methodologies to remotely, automatically and continuously identify these high emitting vehicles from the infrastructure. A network of remote sensing systems deployed in a metropolitan area makes it possible to remotely measure the individual emissions and noise of each vehicle passing through street or road point. This way, if a vehicle is identified as exceeding certain levels of emissions or noise, the authorities and the driver are informed and a restriction of access to the low emission zone can be automatically and selectively applied. NEMO's technologies and solutions can completely change the way we manage urban mobility. The most interesting thing about this approach is that it produces the same or better results than massive label type restrictions. Thanks to real emissions data from more than 1 million vehicles that we have collected over the last few years in Madrid and there the European Union funded project Gistra, we know that restricting access to only high emitters could affect six to seven times fewer vehicles, but would reduce traffic emissions by up to 53% more compared to restricting the access to only the oldest vehicles. In other words, the results in terms of air quality improvement are much better but the restrictions on mobility are less severe. In addition, 
the limitation of free circulation could be more justified, supported by an individual and empirical measurement. The policy could be as limited as possible, as demanded by the ruling of the court that we commented at the beginning of the video. In fact, the court comments in its ruling that the city of Barcelona should have considered less restrictive alternatives. The decision of this court comes at the worst time for Spain. Although Barcelona's low emission zone restricts access to all these vehicles, the city had planned to extend this restriction very soon to vehicles with a B label, that is, medium-age cars. In addition, Spain is in the process of implementing low emission zones throughout the country. At least 150 municipalities are, are required by law to have a low emission zone next year, and most of them plan to copy the restricting approach of Barcelona. This decision puts their plans on a standby. It can freeze both civil works and European Union's next generation recovery funds. No one knows what will happen now. If the ruling becomes final, the concept of access restriction in Spanish cities will have to be completely rethought. In addition, similar legal decisions could come to other European cities. But we have the opportunity to get ahead of the curve, to implement fair and effective solutions that improve air quality in cities. Nimo's technologies can be implemented now. We are in the middle of validations and demonstrations and their results cannot be better. Let's rethink mobility. Let's improve our city's quality of life.